What's up guys, Marcus here from Studio One Expert, and in today's video, I wanted to outline the differences between explode pitches to tracks versus exporting stems when using multi-track VSTIs, and more specifically, when to use one over the other. So for this example here, I've got two tracks, and we have note event on each one of these tracks here where I've got a basic pattern that's pulled up. So the first one we're gonna have a listen to is gonna be impact over here, and we'll have a quick play through that. Okay, so I've just imported one of the loops, the music loops that comes with Studio One, and this brought in a kit and it also brought in a pattern. And what I've done here is I've just changed this so that they're all coming out of Stereo One, meaning that we have one fader in our console that is controlling the level of impact. Okay, so for the next example over here, I've got an instance of Easy Drummer. Let's go ahead and we'll pull that up and we'll go ahead and play this. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is let's mute this event and let's play everything here. Now one thing you'll notice here that's different is I have enabled the multi-outs and I'm using multi-outs Easy Drummer all the way through Easy 8. And then within the VSTI here, I've actually designated each one of these channels to be coming out a separate virtual output of Easy Drummer, meaning that I have control over all of these now in my console. So anytime that you wanna have more control over what you're working with, the way to do that is usually by giving yourself isolated tracks. Now, let's talk about the different ways that we can do that. So first of all, let's have a look at this example. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna open this editor here. So in this track with impact, we've got nine different pitches and each one of these pitches represents a different sample that's being triggered in impact. So if I bring up impact over here, you can see that all of these pads are mapped out to a different pitch. Now, if I was to go ahead and close this editor, we know that we have nine pitches now. So if I went ahead and I right clicked, went to instrument parts and explode pitches to tracks, you'd see that we have these nine different tracks that come in in the arrange window. And if I sold these out, these will be different elements. This one. Okay, so you can see that we have the different elements. Now, because they're all mapped out to the same output in impact, if I open up my console now, we still have the one fader that's controlling all of them. But if I wanted to have more control, I could go into impact over here and I could make sure that they were all set to a different output so that I could have discrete control. Okay, fair enough. So this works really well when you've got a one-to-one -one relationship between the pitches and the actual amount of outputs that you need. But now let's have a look at a different example. So I'm gonna go ahead, let's bring this back to just being one note event over here. Now let's look at Easy Drummer. So let's open up the note editor here and you can see that I've only got four pitches. So I have my hi-hats closed, I've got my snare center, I've got my kick, and I've got hi-hats open. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna mute this and let's go ahead and let's play this now. And open up the VSTI. You can see here that in my mixer, I've got more information, I've got more things happening than just the four pitches. So just to kind of drive this point home a little bit further, let's deal with the overheads here for a second. So I'm gonna solo out the overheads and we hear an overheads perspective of what's happening with this drum BSTI. Now, here's where I'm trying to make my point. Let's go ahead and we're gonna close this for a second. I'm gonna take all of the hi-hat closed and we're gonna select them all and now let's go ahead and let's mute all of them. Now let's open up our VSTI again. Still with the overhead soloed, let's play from the top. So you can see now, or you can hear now, that we're not hearing the hi-hats in this overhead channel in the mixer on Easy Drummer. And that's because we don't have a pitch that directly correlates to the overheads. You don't map out overheads to a pitch the overhead signal that we have in the mixer here is based upon what you have in your note editor. So what MIDI information that you've triggered, that's gonna trigger and that's all happening within here. Meaning that if I want a one-to-one -one relationship between my mixer in Easy Drummer 2 and what I'm able to mix in my console in Studio One, 
then the best option is to enable multi-outs. And then if I wanted to turn that into audio, I can simply go to my export stems option. And then based on the channels here, I could export these and bring these right back in. Now, if I went to tracks, tracks is what's in the arrange window. Channels are what's in the console. So one thing to keep in mind here is that we would have to rename these so that we'd have the proper audio names come in. So for example, I'd come in here, I'd rename this kick. The next one would be snare. The next one would be hats. The next one would be toms and so on and so forth. Then if I went to export my stems song, export stems, they would at least have the proper name if I wanted to bring them back in as audio. Okay, so just to recap, when you're working with tracks or VSTIs where you have a one-to-one -one where every pitch that's coming in is its own sound and you want to have that separated, we can go ahead and we can use the explode pitches to tracks. Works very well. And then we have individual control over all of these elements. But if you're working with a VSTI, something such as Easy Drummer, where it has its own mixer and you're routing the outputs of that mixer virtually so that you can have the option to have control over them in your console in Studio One, then the best thing to do is to go with routing those outputs and you can either bring them in as stems or you can leave them in this virtual form over here that we see where we have one track with all the note event data on it, but we still have the individual control for all these elements within the Studio One console. So that's a little bit longer than I wanted this video to be, but I hope this gives you a little bit more of a clear representation of when to use explode pitches versus when to use the multi outs available in VSTIs and the other options in Studio One, such as export stems, to be able to have a little bit more isolated control over your individual elements. Anyways, I hope you guys got something from this and we'll talk to you later. Cheers.